Just a quick video about updating the VCSA appliance. This is part of the Spectre and Meltdown remediation. And you'll see it is January 13th, 2018. Now the process for this has gotten very easy with VAMI. I'm gonna log into VAMI in just a moment, but first I'm gonna take a, a moment to take a snapshot of the VM prior to um, Okay, so I'm about to go to update 1E. And not a bad idea to do a snapshot or make sure you have a backup. There's many different backup products that'll handle backing up your VCSA appliance, including one that's built right into it in the VAMI interface. Okay, so now we're gonna fire up a browser and point to the system on port 5480. Let me explain. I'm gonna bring up Chrome here and I'm gonna click on my VAMI shortcut, which brings up port 5480, logging into the VCSA appliance on that port, and then I'm gonna go ahead and do the update through the GUI. Now, why is it taking a while? All right, so here's a look at the appliance. You'll see my current build shows 1300. And we have different things we can do here, including backup, like I said. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and go right to the update page. I'm gonna go right to the update page, click on check updates, check repository. And it's hitting the internet and now you can see a new version and build number And there's all the details. All right, now I just click install updates and then select install up all updates. Accept the end user license agreement and wait for a bit for it to finish up. So you'll see it's 11.56 a.m. This is on a modest SSD VM, uh, VMFS data store. So it'll take a few minutes to update this Photon appliance and then we'll be ready to test it and then delete the snapshot and that'll be it. Okay, it's four or five minutes later. You'll see it finished and now I'm ready to click OK and then simply click on the summary screen here. Click on reboot and I wait for the VM to come back up. Of course, that'll take a few minutes. Okay, I've waited two or three more minutes. Let's see if we can get back into the VAMI interface. And we're there. Go to the update page, check updates. And this time, it's probably not gonna find anything because we can see I successfully moved to the latest update. Hey, I'm in. I should see three cluster, three hosts in my cluster. Yep, we're good. A little messy there in the middle of some churn on my environment in my home lab, uh, but whose environment is not like that? <clears throat> and it's a little bit miffed about the CPU being busy because we just booted that VM. All right, so once you've run this for a few days and you're comfortable, it's really hard to remember to turn off the snapshots or delete them all. But if I click on manage snapshots, it's as easy as delete them all. So that's it. It's going to finish cleaning up that snapshot. I'm now done with the VAMI easy GUI update process with a little twist just showing you how ridiculously easy it is to do snapshots. Hopefully you found this video helpful. I want to thank you for watching and thanks for visiting tinkertry.com.